I always love a well-made game that takes a classic game and turns it on its head, adding so much new stuff and new strategy. So this game turns blackjack on its head, and if you don't know blackjack, the goal of the game is to flip cards that bring you as close to, but not over, 21. It's a 1v1 game where you want to get closer than the opponents. However, the way this game works is that if I am playing, you can see that we each flip a card. Our scores are 5 to 3. We can choose to keep hitting. We could choose to keep getting more. He's got 19. I would love to beat that. And I did with 20. When we stand, we fight, and the difference gets dealt as damage to him. And the thing about this game is that this is just the beginning. We got cards, we got some damage, and eventually there'll be more cards, more synergies. And I should mention at you right away, every single suit... Oh no, I busted. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Busting, if you go over, it's basically the same as having nothing. So I just got dealt 17 damage. If I run out of HP, I lose. Um, yeah, there's a different card like a loyalty card. Every 10th time this card is played, set your score to 21. That's something I could get eventually. Uh, hopefully I can do better than 15. 16? Listen, I'm not going to risk it. I'm taking one damage right now, but that's better than taking 17. You got to pick your place here. And he might bust. Yeah, 16 damage. Wiping out the bartender. Collecting his money. So now I can upgrade my deck with normal playing cards. Very normal. For this one, on the first play, this encounter, choose another card from your deck. On subsequent play, put a copy of the chosen card into your draw pile and shuffle it. So it's a setup play. This is a card that's worth five, but then choose one of five random cards and put it into play. Add the other four cards to your hand. Or if you have a card in play that is worth nine or five, then add a chip every time you draw a card. Chip is your currency in the top left. I'm gonna go with a booster pack because who doesn't love pack opening up against a drunk with 10 hp hit me and notice i have only diamonds but he's got a few different suits each suit actually has a special power which you'll get to see eventually but for now i dealt him a damage and oh, oh, he's got a 13 of clubs what a legit card at right, 19 i feel good with standing especially since he played the rules card he chose to set my bust limit to 20 for the rest of the encounter which means that the maximum i can get is 20 and if i go over 20 i basically have zero but i didn't i'm actually doing great oh okay pick a card i could choose a card in my opponent's play pile to swap this card with i could get his 12 or i could copy the effects of a random card negative ace of clubs minus one or minus 11. i'm gonna play the business card i'll take your 12. i guess i'll just stand no oh, he got me and i'll start with a hit oh i can just get 20 right now so i will do that got you bro Ooh. Owned him. Another card to add to my deck, or can skip a baseball card. On discard, permanently re reduce its value by one. When its value is reduced to zero, burn the card, permanently remove it from my deck, put a card sleeve and an old baseball card in play. Permanently add those to your deck? That's interesting. Okay, sure, give me the baseball card. And now I get to spend my chips on, I could remove a card for free, I could pay 100 chips to remove a card, add a new card to my deck, and then lose 10 HP, or pay 200 chips to remove a card and add a card to my deck without losing 10 HP. I'll preserve my HP. What do I want to remove though? Obviously not the ace. Probably like a two. I think a two is pretty bad. It's hard to say why though. Oh, and I got a random card added to my deck. Do I get to see it? Oh, it's the loyalty card. Right. We saw that earlier. Okay, I got the Cardinals. We got Lucky Stars. On play, choose to reveal one or two or three numbers, each ranging from one to nine. Add the total value of the revealed numbers to this card's value and give the player that many chips. What's the gambler do with chips anyway? So he's got another one of them. All right, don't bust. Ooh, 17. I will stand. Because that's just 17 glorious damage. 16 versus 18. Listen, I'm probably going to bust. I'm just going to take two damage and move on with my life. I'd rather keep it safe here. 18 is good. I stand and wipe out the gambler. Big mistake. All right, good to get a 12 hearts. 12 hearts is kind of scary because the plurality of cards in my deck are worth 10. And with that gets me 22. Booster pack seems really good. I hate to take the same thing twice, but it just seems amazing. Now I could pay 100 chips to heal 10 HP, pay 50 chips to heal 10 HP, but a random card is stolen from my deck during the night, not the shady room. Or get no sleep and lose 5 HP. Pretty relatable, but I'll take the heal. I got the money. Hit me. Five against nine, booster pack. I got 10, but I might as well make it 21. 
So because I have a blackjack, we'll actually get to see the diamond's power. The diamonds are going to give me additional chips, and each suit has a different ability. Oh, I got a 9? What? He locked my card to the field. Well, I'm just going to play the 12 for another blackjack. And then, in addition to the 9 chips, the spades will give me a bonus of a shield. One shield for each spade. Oh, and the 9 stays on the field because of the card he played. How about I play this? Select one of four unique cards to put into play. What does that mean? Select a card currently in play and double its value. I could set his bus limit to 20 and my bus limit to 22. I could deal three damage to opponent, increase the damage of all my scratch cards by two in this encounter. I have one of those. Hold on. If I play this, I could just deal three damage, and then I could deal more damage. <laughs> Wait, this is the claw from Slay the Spire. I just clawed him to death. Scratch. Very subtle name. I don't like the idea of negative cards. It feels very... I don't see how I can use it for my strategy, so I'm gonna skip. I could buy a card for 100. A 21? I mean, you gotta take the 21 of spades. The one card blackjack? Sure. I admit the ace of clubs is the better pick because like, you know, has one or 11 as its value and I can't afford it now. But the 21 of spades, you gotta take the 21. Come on. It's gonna screw me. I know it's gonna screw me. Watch. Uh, 15 versus 16. Maybe he'll hit. He'll hit. <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I would have busted, so I'm glad I did that. Oh, ace up your sleeve. He just gets an ace of a random suit. Well, I got 20, so I'll stand. More damage to this poker player. 6-6. Six, six. Ah, there's the 21. Well, I am taking his hit. 17 damage to the face. Hate to see it. What's this? Social security card? On play, shuffle a copy of your opponent's play pile, which is nothing right now, into my draw pile and burn this card. Or, while in play, if the opponent is defeated, gain a thousand chips. That could be really good. I'm gonna start with a negative seven of spades, because I want to get a thousand chips, especially since I can play that anytime. Hit me. Eight versus 14. I hope he busts. Got the Cardinals. I mean, right now I could get a Blackjack. Yeah, let me social security card right now. Take the Blackjack. Take the game card. Maybe he'll hit. Yes! A thousand chips! Unbelievable! I'm rich! All the money! Yo, that's what I'm talking about. And now I can probably take none of these. Minus one or minus 11. That's actually kind of interesting. Oh, but on a winning Blackjack, I would reduce the amount that I heal. Yeah, because Heart Special Power gives healing. But this would give less healing. It just... I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like negatives right now. I'll try negatives in maybe another time. What the fortune telling? What is my fortune? Uh, the hermit card. On play, adds a decaying heal per turn. Permanently adds one to the amount of decaying healing added the next time this card is played. I can really only play it once per combat. Or while in play, if I get a blackjack, multiply damage dealt by six. Otherwise, at end of round, deal six damage to self. That's risky. Or on play, locks the first card in play for both players on discard first. Burns. I will take the Hermit for gradually increasing healing. Sounds nice. Hit me. 10 Cardinals. 19 is pretty good. His value is going down, but I'll stand against the manager. A 21 instant blackjack, which should get me 21 shields. Now I'm not taking any hits. Ooh, good start. And another blackjack. No! No! He swapped it with the business card. Come on, just give me another tenor. That's not it. Okay, I'll just take three. Whatever. It goes into shield. It took a bit more than three. I'm not sure why. There must have been some reason. But, alas, I'll take 18 and stand. That's 18 free damage, you fool. You swapped it again. How dare you? The Hermit. So it doesn't do anything for me yet. But now, I could get an 11 hearts. I can also mess up the bust limit. Get me to 22. And him to 20 at max. He stole my Hermit. Hopefully that doesn't matter. Hit me. Loyalty card. Come on, hit me again. Hit me harder. So I need 10. Well, a lot gets me 10. Like that. That's a Blackjack. Technically. Nice. Another one of these. Charred Lizard. On play, choose to keep in play or sell to opponent's discard for 25 chips. Well, this isn't going to stay in my deck, so I might as well sell it, right? Well, what do I need 25 chips for? Yeah, what do I need 25 chips for? I have a much better play here if I just keep it, okay? So here's what's up. I can go negative 7 of clubs and then a 13 and an ace of hearts for a blackjack that should heal me. Yeah, because that's what hearts do. And hit me. A 5. Hit me harder. 11. Okay, that's good, because I can 11 of hearts. We're both blackjacking, but mine is better than his. That's a good heal. <laughs> He's almost dead. If I can get more healing here, that would be perfect. Um, I need a 1. That's not it. I have a negative 10 of hearts, so I don't mind messing around a bit. Oh, I got 22. <laughs> Another blackjack. More healing. Almost at full. Good time. 
A blank card can choose the suit and value for the blank card to take? That sounds amazing. I can pick anything. So now I progress to a new area, into the basement, where all the degenerate gamblers go. <laughs> I'm fighting a rat! What has happened in my life to get me to the point where I'm playing against a giant rat in blackjack? I'm not even playing real cards, I'm playing baseball cards. What kind of drugs does this game have me on? Alright, 20 is a good place to stand. Oh, that rat's going ham. Oh my. Alright, you made it to 18. Well done. Double damage, I guess. Um, what do I want? Time card. If I have a card that's worth 9 or 5, which I do, the booster pack is worth 5, then I get to add a chip. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, yeah, give me a bunch of chips. There's another one. And I get a blackjack. Uh, I have negatives, so I don't mind. Whoa, I don't know if I can undo that. Yeah, that's mega busted. Oh, wait, but I could choose a card from my play pile to put at the bottom of my draw pile. So I could say no to the 21 and pretend that didn't happen. And there we go. Much cleaner. Oh, that rat's going off. Wait, so many <laughs> blank cards. All right, get owned, rat. Got him. Well, let's see if I get better. Okay, hold on, this is perfect. Minus Ace of Diamonds for minus one and a perfect 21. Excellent. It did take away a chip from me, but I don't care. I have 1,400. Dude, the booster pack is so good. The fact that you can choose one of those cards and then choose to play cards at a specific time, that's so powerful. The Decromancer. Nice, nice. Or the Hermit. I don't even care if he heals me anymore. I'm back to full. Eh, I'll stay. But he's got grave cards. Honestly, the pun game rivals Peglin. It takes a random value from 5 to 10, and it can be clicked to replace that value with a random value from 1 to 5. How versatile. And how about this? 13. I gotta go for better. 23! Ouch. I just healed up too. I had the healing from the guy. Gerald from Rivera. On play, select a card in your opponent's play pile and burn it. Interesting. I'll just take a 10 of spades because the rest seem more uh, versatile. Okay, another one of these. On play, reveal the top card of your draw pile. That sounds really helpful. Not right now, but just in general. Can I get to blackjack? Yeah, I can do plus 12 minus 11. So 32 and then minus 11. Stand. Looking good. Now let's hit and hit until I need to pull from one of my cards. I got the 21, but I think I'm going to have to do negative 11 again, which is fine, because I guess I can blank card. I think I'll do two of hearts. So I can get a touch of healing as well. That's fine. Hit me. Hit me again. A loyalty card. 18. Droll just gets me the 21. You know what I'm actually going to burn? I'll burn his two, because 16 is an awkward number. Yeah, I figured he'd bust. I figured he'd try to play and bust. That was the whole plan. Six, 14. Let's see what the next card will be for me. Cardinals. That's worth seven, which is exactly 21. Well, how about that? What a lovely circumstance. Hit me. What do I get? I can get three hearts to my hand. I think I want hearts just for healing. Oh, I got ones of hearts. Okay, they're not that much healing, but it can add up. Right, I need something good. I can take anything. I'll take a 10 of hearts, sure. And a little awkward, I'll just go to 21 like this. See if that stops him. I only deal six damage, but I dealt a little bit extra because I had clubs. Clubs, if you have a blackjack, get you more damage. Oh, I didn't get to keep the hearts. Interesting. All right, hit me again. Uh, yeah, I'll take another 10 of hearts, or I want a blackjack. I might play the negative four clubs. So if I do that in the seven, that's plus three. So I need eight more to get a blackjack. I like it. And I'm back to full healing. I don't know if I'm minus one or minus 11. I'll do minus 11 so I can see more cards. Back to zero, 10, 20. But this could still be worth one. Let's see, if I play this business card, swap with the three of hearts, 13 plus eight is 21. And the Necromancer, Decromancer is dead. Uh, I want to buy some stuff. The Trump card, select the value of this from 1 to 11. It costs five times that many chips to play. Well, I do have a lot of money, so that sounds very good. That sounds obscenely good. We can trade. Uh, he even looks like the meme, of course. Um, I don't want to give Ace of Diamonds or Trump card or Booster Pack. Although, swapping the Ace of Diamonds for Ace up your sleeve gets a random Ace into my hand. That's arguably better. So I guess I'll make that trade. And I could keep going, but I won't. And now I face him. Uh, yes, I'll take the 21. There's a four mana 7-7 seven, seven in this game too. Oh man, that makes me happy. 
Oh, shoot. I forgot the booster pack was worth five. Oh, uh, that's awkward. Whoops. I even screwed myself out of a future blackjack. Well, I can't do anything. Oh, God. Any hits extra hard. All right, that's fine. I'll heal it back. Six. Hit me again. 14. Hit me. Screw it. Ooh, it aced my hand. He sold me a card. Try it again. Busted again. Why do I keep busting? Why do I keep doing this to myself? That's a lot of aces of diamonds. Well, I need a nine or under. That's not it. Okay, so okay, he busted two. We both suck. Draw. Okay, finally, I can redeem myself. I could lock a card in play. Which would be interesting with the 21. But now I think I will play a negative three of diamonds. I can actually blackjack for the first time if I go minus two and then king, ace. Time to heal a little. Finally. Hit me. Nine with 12 is a blackjack. Gotta stand. Ooh, big hits. I get any more healing. Oh, this will be nice. Uh, 10 of hearts and ace of clubs for a stand. Looking good. A get out of jail free card. On play, set your score to match your opponent's score or the Joker. Choose a card from your discard value pile and copy its value in suit. That's also really good. I'm gonna do the get out of jail free card. I like the idea of playing Monopoly while playing uh, Blackjack. The slime enemy, the classic. Give me a tenor. This could be anything. Do I want a blackjack right now? I would just get more chips. Getting a blackjack doesn't really change much at the end of the day when I'm just getting a few more chips. I have a ton of them. Same goes with here. I'll wait until like I could get some healing out of it. Like now, 10 of hearts. <laughs> get out of jail free, love it. And now, I'll gladly take a two of diamonds. Well worth it. Get out of jail free could come in handy. A social security guard again. I'll take the king of hearts right now. Holy shit, did he play the Buckethead album cover? That's the fucking crime slunk scene album cover. Or just, you know, a guy in a police tape, I guess. But it's Buckethead, I swear. Um, I don't like any of these right now. I have a jack of all trades. I didn't even notice this. It's all four suits at the same time. I'll just stand. Oh, he's got two of them. Huh, okay. Hit me. 21. Well, I don't need heal a full. I'll just win, right? Oh, yeah. Good time. Do I want a one of spades? Probably not. Probably not. It's no ace. A loot box? Oh boy, pay 100 chips to open a loot box. I've got that. A seven of diamonds. Or healing and healing. I don't want a seven of diamonds. But I will take another loot box. There's so many cool things I can get. Like an eight of spades. Is it just showing me good cards and then like just putting in normal ones? Or is it at least possible to get an ace? I don't know, man. I, th I think I'm getting screwed here. Feels rigged against me. I've already he healed the full, so I guess I'll just chill with the loot boxes. I know it's addicting. All right, I can fight the gambler. 10? 17 against 20. I'll stand. I don't want to take 20 damage. Let's play it smart. Yeah, I would have busted. Oh, the magician. Shuffles cards into his draw pile. Interesting. I'll just keep hitting. 19 seems safe. Oh, yeah. Especially when he busts. The loyalty card. We haven't seen that that many times. Oh, uh, you got 21 on the nose. This is a tough one. 14, I'll hit. Oh, I can match my opponent's score. Perfect. <laughs> Get owned. Thank you. Ooh. I'll start with a jack of hearts. And I don't think I need a hall pass because I have so many negatives. The hermit can heal me. <laughs> Ace up my sleeve. Come on, give me something real. There it is. I can go minus seven and then add four aces. No, this is fine, right? Yeah, I'll take three. I'm already healing the full. So I'll just take some shields, I guess. Four aces, but uh, according to Dark Flower, they were the aces of spades were about to disappear. So I basically had to play them that turn. That's how the wording of the card seems to be to me. Um, I mean, I'll hit no matter what. Oh, um, interesting. I'll take a time card for a chip. Right now I'm ahead. I wonder if I can get there. What if I take a look at what's next? Oh, there's a blank card next. Okay, I will hit then. Give me a one of... I'll go spades again to protect me. Ooh, another trump card. So much by hand. I guess that's just kind of the way things go. Wow, so many good cards. I'll take the charred lizard. I'll just keep it in because I can do a minus two and get the 21. Yeah, getting the 21 is easy right now. Speaking of, easiest 21 of my life. <laughs> Got him. All right, hit me. 
It's been a bit. Well, hit me again. I actually don't have too many positive cards. That's the 21. I have a lot of negatives though, so I'm not worried. I can go, oh, he has two aces out right now. I was gonna say minus nine plus three. I gotta burn something from him, but if I burn an ace, he'll go to 11, which makes it really easy for him to get to 21. So I guess I'll just burn the ace up the sleeve and stand. Uh, that was weird. Oh, right, his ace has become ones. All right, got him. And I don't like any of these, I'll skip. Card removal. Pay 250, 500, or 1,000 chips to remove a card. Hmm, I wonder what I'll choose. I actually wonder what I'll choose. He has to get rid of like a three diamonds. Or maybe, because I have like a bunch of fives, I should be thinking like five plus seven is 12. And then if I add a 10, that gets me to 22, which is bad. So maybe like I could keep the low cards because of other fives, which makes it easy for me to get to like 18, 19, 20. And then seven is more likely to bust me than ever. So I'll get rid of that. I actually could almost afford both of these. I'm two chips short which is a shame. But then again, eight isn't bad with the tenors by themselves. So maybe I'll just get rid of a three then. And I guess I'm skipping. What a shame. A loot card. The Cardinals is here. Oh, 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 oh. Plus two from Uno. I get to just play their top two cards without activating their effects. And I can scratch. I'll play a 10 up hearts right now. He's already busted. I guess I'll scratch for the hell of it too. All right, love it. Hit me loyalty okay good options here Ooh, another scratch yeah i'll keep clawing them all right can i get the 21 for starters mm, i could plus two so he's busted i guess i could just choose to win i want blackjack so i'm gonna hit okay so i can go 12 minus 11 one one blackjack nice oh an ace hell yeah i'll take an ace Oh, now you can see the whole path laid out in front of you. The casino. Enter the casino. You hate to see that it's just a demo. I'm very stoked for the full game because I imagine it'll just have more areas and more chances to build an incredible deck. I don't know if I'm going to play it more until the game comes out just because I don't want to blue ball myself. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Hope you guys are stoked for the full release. I'll see you guys all in the next video whenever it comes out. Have a wonderful day and peace.